This video is proudly brought to you by the On Three Legs VIPs, very important photographers. If you'd like to become an On Three Legs VIP, head to patreon.com slash on three legs to learn more. If you're like me and you own the Nikon 14 to 24 millimeter lens, you'll know how amazing it is, but you'll also know how difficult it is to get a filter set for. Now the SW150 kit is specifically made for this lens, and I believe there's adapters for it for other now wide angle lens. As you can see, it doesn't have the traditional 77 millimeter thread on the front of it that you find on so many other lenses which means that you can't just use any old filter kit. One of the things that I like about Lee is they are really, uh, you know, they develop really good quality gear. Everything comes in nice bags, typically nice soft bag. And this here is your filter holder. Now this is actually a Mark I filter holder. And I have, since buying the Mark I filter holder, now the Mark I filter holder, if you do find them, did not come with this baffle. And it came with these funny baffles that go on the back. This here I bought as a separate accessory. It clips in. And, and this is what the Mark II filter holder looks like. So the Mark II filter holder has this light baffle that goes inside and that stops light leaking into your lens. So if you're wondering what the difference is between the two, there you go. But that is a filter holder and I'll show you how that goes on in a second. The way that it happens with this lens is you get this adapter ring. This is the three part adapter ring. It comes with uh, these two bits here that go on behind here and this then screws on onto the front. Now I never take it off because it is just a pain to get on and off. And uh, you know, I just took it off now. There's a little arrow on there indicating which way to put it on um, because I wanted to show you how it works, but it's not a very fun thing to take on and off. And you'll see that as I try and screw this on now because I've got to try and balance everything and get it to find those threads. Um, and it's not easy, it doesn't do it very easily. That filter holder has now threaded onto the front of that lens. Now that that's on there, this goes on really, really easily. So this is like I said, the Mark I holder with the Mark II baffle that I bought separately. Um, it simply goes on there like that. Now when it comes to filters, a lot of people ask me what filters should I get? Do I get soft grads, hard grads? Now this is a, by the way, a Lee filter bag that holds my filters. Now normally when you buy filters from Lee, they come in individual bags, not this fat, because this is for that holder, but thin little bags. Um, and they can take up a lot of room. So um, I, I'd recommend you getting one of these bags. This one here, as you can see, has zippers on the sides. It opens up at the top and you know opens up like an accordion with all your filters in there. What filters do you buy? Well, I've got a few. I've got some hard grades. So that's a hard grade there. So you can see it's got a line that uh, is ideal for seascape. Uh, and I've got some soft grades as well. So a soft grade looks like that. Is I've got the Lee Big Stopper, okay, which is 10 stops of light. And I've also got a CPL, okay, and this is a glass filter. Now one of the downsides with these filters is the price. You know, this, this for example is about 350 Australian dollars just for this CPL filter. It slides into a channel in front of that baffle and then away you go. You've got your filter in and being a, a circular polarizing filter, you would just spin that around until you found the perfect point and then you take your photo. And that, the little rubber insert, as I said, stops the light from leaking in there. Um, and all the filters work the same way, they're all pretty good. Uh, the Big Stopper is slightly different as it has a foam backing piece on it that really seals it off. Uh, and until they came out with this Mark II um, you know, holder, it was impossible to use the Big Stopper because the light would get in there uh, because of the way the other filter system used. You can put two filters in at once. So for example, if I was doing a seascape and I wanted to put my hard grad in front of that, I could do that as well. Or I could use my circular polarizing filter, uh, but it only takes two filters. And as you can see, they're quite big. It's one of the downsides with this filter kit is the size of it. I'm a great fan of filters. They make life easy when you're out there doing landscape photography uh, and they help you get better shots. Now, what if you were using a lens that had a 77 mil thread? Because you're probably thinking, well, Ben, that's great. I'm gonna spend all that money on a filter kit. What, just for one lens? Good news is that Lee came up with another option. Okay, so this here is a 24 to 70. One of the things that Lee has developed for us is a way for us to be able to adapt this, because as you can see, this now is not gonna fit on anything. It's way too big. But however, they've created this adapter. Screws onto your 77 mil thread, and then allows you then to put this onto there like so. And then away you go. You can now pick your filter out that you wanna use. And now you've got a filter kit for your 24 to 70 as well. So it's not just limited to, to your 14 to 24 mil. You can use it with all your other lenses. All you gotta do is buy this adapter ring that you can see. Oh, you can't see it, there it is. You can now <laughs> buy that adapter ring. Um, then you can use it with anything that you like. That fixes that problem, which is good. And when I store this in the bag, it doesn't take up much room. And then that goes back into the bag like that. 
Um, and if I just whip this back over, the other problem that you'll be faced with is that now you have this great big bulky thing on the front of your 14 to 24. And Lee Filters we, we realised that we could no longer fit our proper lens cap on there. So they developed this neoprene lens cap and it just goes over the top like that and that protects the front of your lens so you don't have to worry about that investment. You know, I really love using filters when I'm out doing landscape photography and I love using this lens and I'm, I'm great that, grateful that there was a kit available to allow me to do that. I've sent a lot of different kits out there. Some of them are even bigger than this kit. Um, this is a bulky kit, as you can see, the size of that. There's, put that next to me. I mean, I've got a big head, but you can see how big that is. It's a big filter kit, and it takes up a lot of room in my camera bag. It's also fairly weighty. I haven't got every single filter because I don't feel like I need them. So if you're wondering as to what filters you should buy, I have got a 0.6 hard, a 0.6 soft, a 0.9 hard, a 0.9 soft, and then I've got a 10 stop big stopper, and I've got a CPL. Uh, and so in total I have six filters, that's it, that's all I have is those six filters and I find that they pretty much do almost any circumstance. So there you go. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and get out there and take some photos.